So welcome back to another video here in Pennsylvania. And look what we got back here. It's cool old building we're gonna check out. So this is another one of those places that I wasn't necessarily planning on visiting today. There was another cemetery we visited just earlier today, the Linden Moose Cemetery, but this is similar to that cemetery. It wasn't, it wasn't part of my original plan, but I was, as I was planning out my route on Google Maps, I kind of saw the marker for it on Google Maps and I decided to look into it a little bit and I thought, you know what, we're gonna, we're gonna check this place out. So let's go do it. All right, I just filmed uh, Snyder's cover bridge just down the way. So that's kind of where we are. This is, we're not, we're just north of uh, Numidia, like I said, here in Southern Columbia County. I forgot if I mentioned that we're in Columbia County, Pennsylvania today. All right, let's take a look. Yes, we got this old beautiful church, often referred to as the old Quaker meeting house. This is, this is actually called Meeting House Road. You have the Roaring Friend, Roaring Creek Friends Meeting House. Of course, the word friends there remembers, refers to the Quakers. Established in 1796. It definitely looks old. Some of this wood may have been replaced at one point. All right. Let's, there's, a, there's a big stone marker over here. Let's check this out. What does this say? There's a cemetery here, too. A tribute to our log meeting houses at Catawissa and Roaring Creek. Hail to thee, hail to thee, this meeting house of worship in our fair and fertile country, erected to the glory of God and the brotherhood of man. Yeah, it's just some more stuff there if you want to read it. All right, the log main house is located on the east end of the lot, was erected in 1796 by the earliest settlers of Roaring Creek Valley. The meeting house stands as a reminder and tribute to those who came before us. It is one of the oldest buildings in the valley that is still intact. Cool. So I was wondering if it's... Oh, that's a beautiful shot there, sorry. I was wondering if it was all original, but man, that is... I gotta get a picture of that. Yeah, that is a beautiful log cabin. I know it's a church, but some of you know what I'm gonna say. I mean, I could totally live in there. Probably doesn't have good heat, but yeah, there's definitely locked too. I was figured you probably wouldn't be able to get in, but probably won't be able to really see too well on the inside either. I know some people complain in the last old church video I did that I didn't look into the windows, but it doesn't always work, folks. We'll try the other end too, but all right. Yeah, wow, just beautiful, beautiful old weathered wood. Old stonework. I said, we'll take, take a walk around the cemetery too. Beautiful location. There's Naomi. All right. I can't really, these windows are a bit too tall for me to look into anyway. I'll put you up there though. Even these doors are just super old. Love how they have the, the old window shutters and everything. Let me back up a little bit so we can see the whole thing again. A lot of those old buildings. But anyway, let's take a bit of a stroll through the cemetery. I'm not sure how old the dates we'll find in here. Looks like we have a Civil War veteran over here. John Hampton. Age 79 years old. Yeah, there we go. Army of the Republic. Another Hampton back there. Some newer, there's some a newer grave marker back there. It looks like a probably a World War One marker. Let's see. Yeah, World War One. It was this John Johnston. Charles Lewis Johnston. Well, MD, it looks like he was a doctor. Cool. Yeah, I'm not sure if we'll see any like really old ones in here though. Because once again, maybe I see a lot of open space back up there. So maybe sometimes the older ones didn't have markers. Because all these don't look terribly old. I know I'm not looking at every single one though. Oh, wait a second here. Okay. Here's Sarah, wife of wife of Evan Evans. There's a name for you. 1782 or 1783. Wait a second. 1788 as I get closer. To 1878. 
So there's some early ones, but these just don't look really old. I, bet, I feel like this is a replacement for an older one. There's Evan Evans, her husband, 1785. Wow. Here's a, what's this marker over here say? See, here's a really old one. Oh, Captain Simon Cool. 1755 to 1820, Revolutionary War. I've never seen this marker ever before. This is wrong, too. This is Grand Army of the Republic. This is a Civil War marker. Okay, but this is Revolutionary War. We saw that somewhere else. That was at a, a cemetery up in Pine Grove. I forget what it's called now, but they had they had that same problem putting the wrong markers for people. Sorry, Simon. I just feel like that's kind of rude. <laughs> you know, I mean, and they're honoring the service, but they're putting the wrong marker, the wrong war. I feel like you could have a little bit more. Uh... Anyway, 1755. That takes us back to French and Indian War era stuff, but that's when he was born. So there are some older ones here, but they just don't have that old look. I guess maybe the problem is I'm thinking what the, of you know what the old tombstones look like down in my area. Maybe up here they're just a little bit different, or maybe they were replaced. That look, that's, that does look a little bit newer, to be honest. It just doesn't have that worn look that the older ones have. Anyway, let's see what else is here. Someone lone marker all by himself up here. Who's this? Oh no, and all the to make out this name. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to make out that one. Just a quaint little spot. If it wasn't for the cemetery, you wouldn't necessarily even realize that that's a church. So this almost looks like an old frontier cabin. There's another Revolutionary War veteran. I believe that says Thomas at the top. Thomas Garenston or something like that. 1751. It's about 1832 it looks like. It is interesting to see veterans buried in here because the, the Quakers were pacifists. But I guess uh, I made exceptions sometimes for burying, fo burying folks in here. That's because I was wondering about that one. Why is that one so separate from the others? I know sometimes the Quakers did that. If they didn't think someone should be buried with everybody else, they would put them out here like a criminal or something. Not saying that he's a criminal, I'm just saying that's kind of what they did sometimes. There's a whole open area over here. I kind of wonder if there's graves in there or not. Older ones. That's the way it was sometimes. What does this big one here say? Margaret Tietzworth, wife of Samuel Mears. That's the last name of one of my viewers, Tietzworth. If you're watching, maybe this is a relative of yours. This is 1805 to 1838. Well, we're going to quick take a walk back up to the church again. It would be cool to get on the inside. Um, the Quakers were another group that had the, the men and women sat on different sides of the congregation. I believe the Moravians did that too, because we visited some several Moravian cemeteries where they're even buried on opposite sides of the cemetery, the men and the women. I think the last one where I was lit, it's Moravian. So yeah, if you were a Quaker here, you'd, you'd sit on one side, your wife would sit on the other side of the church. Yeah, just a beautiful shot there. I got the red-winged blackbird. Got the pine trees, the wind whispering through the pines. This is beautiful. I love this building. Like I said, it just looks more like a frontier home, more than a church, but awesome. All right. Yeah, I would just love to find a place like that to move into. Let's head back to the front. There's a basement area here too. All right. Try to back 
back up here a little bit, get a view of it from this way. Back in some trees back here. Yeah, I just love that building. So yes, if anybody has an old log cabin they just want to give to me, <laughs> I'll take it. Oh man. All right. Let's go and get one more shot that we had previously. Back up to the road here. Yeah, I think I liked this view the best almost. With the little steps going up to the main door. Yeah, it's a beautiful location there behind me. I'm glad it's original, actually, because sometimes you come across places like this. They still look cool, but you know they're a reconstruction of what the original looked like. But this one is all original. If I could get it in frame there. There you go. The old Quaker meeting house. All right, folks, but I think that'll be it. I've got some other, a couple other covered bridges to head to here in Columbia County. Um, at least that's the plan. But we'll see what else we come across, too, as we drive around these back roads. Sometimes we find other things, too. All right, as always, folks, you know what I'm going to say. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one, wherever that may be, but most likely another covered bridge.